New tonight, an Orange County mother is turning her grief into advocacy, aiming to halt a recent and violent trend in her neighborhood. Our Julia Richardson joins us in the control room, telling us more about what she would like to do and sharing why this issue is so important to her. Julia. Well, Eric and Rachel Long's Verda Knox gained a sense of closure last week when her son's killer pleaded guilty to murder in Richland County and earned himself a 30 year prison sentence. Knox is now hoping to keep other parents here in Horry County out of her shoes, potentially taking matters into her own hands to curb future violence. How many more lives got to be taken? How many more mothers like me got to stand in court and watch the man that killed their child? A mother's emotional plea amid a crime spree with seemingly no end in sight. Verda Knox tells me she's willing to donate some of her own land for an Horry County Police substation in Longs, which has seen at least four reported shootings since June that have sent five people to the hospital. I don't know nothing else to, but to speak out and say we need help. The property the substation could sit on already houses a homeless shelter Knox runs called Neighbors Helping Neighbors. She says 12 kids currently live there and she worries about their safety each day. We live here in fear. You know, children can't even come here. We have this shelter here, and we don't even allow the children to come outside and play. Inside the house, the first gun that rings out or whatever, we tell them everybody get down on the floor. Even we done took uh, bed posts and put towards the windows. We don't have any of the kids' beds up against the window. To Knox, this apparent spike in gun violence hits too close to home both literally and figuratively. She tells me it's going to take the whole community to make a change, and it's never too early. Until it happens to one of their children, then that's when you want to speak out. But why not speak out now? Now, Horry County Police previously vowed to beef up patrols in Longs, something Knox claims would give her more peace of mind even without that substation. Live in the control room, Julia Richardson, WMBF News.